This is a step-by-step -step guide for installing a RedArc Pure Sine Wave Inverter. For this video, we will be taking you through the install of a RedArc Pure Sine Wave Inverter. You will need a range of tools including a spanner set, socket set, screwdriver set, side cutters and cable cutters, crimpers, a heat gun and a drill, as well as an inverter, heavy duty cable, lugs, heat shrink and mounting hardware. You will also need a 175 amp mega or ANL fuse. Check your manual for the suitable fuse sizing. Decide on a location for the inverter. It should be installed in a cool, dry, well ventilated area. Because of this, the inverters are not to be installed in an engine bay. The inverter should be mounted as close as possible to the battery it is being powered from. However, the unit should not be installed within 300 millimeters or in the same compartment as the battery. Secure the inverter using appropriate mounting hardware. Roughly run the cables to determine the length you'll need. The further away from the battery the inverter is being installed, the larger the cable needs to be. The DC supply cables should be kept as short as possible. Ideally, less than 1.8 meters long to avoid voltage drop. The further away from the battery, the larger the cables need to be. Refer to the cable chart in the user manual to find the correct cable size for your install. Next, mount the fuse holder. It will need to be mounted as close as possible to the battery positive terminal. Once the cables have been cut to length, trim back the insulation and terminate with suitable cable lugs. Once crimped, protect the cables using conduit or split tube and insulate with heat shrink. Before making the DC wiring connections, Make sure the main switch on the inverter is set to off, which is the middle switch position. Bridge the chassis ground to the inverter negative terminal with a smaller gauge wire, 6mm auto, and terminate. Connect the positive cable to the inverter. Connect the positive cable from the inverter to the fuse holder, then from the fuse holder to the battery positive terminal, and negative cable to a suitable ground point. Ensure all connections are tight. If you have a torque wrench, torque to 11.7 to 13 newton meters. Loose connections can result in overheating and be a potential hazard. Test the inverter with a suitable 240 volt appliance before tidying and securing the cables. If everything works, route the cables and secure with cable ties to ensure they're away from pinch points and retest the inverter. Set the power switch to the on position. The inverter will perform self-diagnosis and the LED will display various colours depending on the inverter status. A solid green light means the power is on and the inverter is functioning normally. A green flashing light indicates the inverter going into power saving mode. The inverter will enter power saving mode if set after 30 seconds. If a red flashing light appears, refer to our inverter troubleshooting video. For more technical information and resources, visit the RedArc website or call our technical support line.